So I'm just going to do a short walkthrough on fire wing. Yeah, you can see the transom with the twin rudders. Main sheet traveler goes all the way across the back. Very wide transom. Um, she does have die form rigging. You can see here it's kind of uh, tougher than um, regular wire, stronger and less stretch. Double, sp uh, double spreader rig and she does have lazy jacks on here no stack pack but nice lazy jack system pretty clean uh probably due for a buff and a wax she's got a bowsprit to fly the asymmetric spinnaker off and you can see with this design the knuckle under here kind of an interesting 1k design the chined hull designed to make the bow more buoyant and there is a sock on the jib she's got this flat drum furler uh, I have to lift this thing up to show you and I hope I don't fall in the water but it's a flat Facnor drum furler that uses a webbing it's actually got varnish on the tow rail So she has a tiller here, extendable tiller, so you can sit outboard. This is the autopilot control head. It's a below decks autopilot, very, very good system. It's the latest, latest Raymarine autopilot. Uh, looks like the shifter has been upgraded. There's a handle that sticks in here and the engine control panel. I'll check on the hours here shortly. Wood's been uh, protected with some kind of finish. Your main sheet is right here. So these bars are designed that you can sit hiked out like this. Main sail is really nice high-tech main everything is laid back to clutches a lot of lines on here there's a fair lead here to lead things across to this winch from each other go take a look down below so down below the uh, galley is to port here the uh, two burner stove and good size fridge freezer compartment here and the nav station the head to starboard head and shower exceptionally clean the boat is very very clean all through very nicely maintained and uh, well sorted out. It just has a stereo, faceplate is off right now, and VHF. Pretty simple. Owner keeps her very well organized. It's a little small, you really have to duck under this overhead. Small V berth, but does have adequate locker space here.
and the off cabin. Get some light in here. Got the large bunk under here. Let's turn this light on. It's a good size bunk and a couple of ports for light and a decent sized hanging locker. Open the engine compartment here. Engine looks very good, great condition. Sump is clean. Extra bilge pump has been added here, and the manual bilge pump right there. That's it. Overall, very nice, clean boat. Fairly simple and uh, nice little performance day sailor racer.